Hidden within the icy depths of our planet's frozen landscapes lie countless mysteries yet to be discovered. Despite remarkable advances in technology and exploration, there remains an astonishing array of things trapped in ice. In this video, we'll take a look at the most interesting finds found frozen all around the world. From a mysterious ice man to a toxic chemical, here are the 20 most incredible things found in ice. Number 20. The Utsi Man Among the most mysterious discoveries in ice, Utsi the Iceman is the most renowned. Discovered in 1991, high in the Utstel Alps on the border between Austria and Italy, this ancient corpse is one of the most compelling things discovered frozen. Utsi, also known as the Similon Man, lived during the Copper Age, approximately 5,300 years ago. His perfectly preserved body, encased in ice for millennia, offers an unprecedented perspective of the prehistoric world. The accidental discovery of Utsi was nothing short of astonishing. Two hikers, Erika and Helmut Simon, stumbled upon Utsi's remains while hiking through a remote glacier. Initially mistaken for a lost mountaineer, it was soon apparent that this was no ordinary find. The authorities quickly recognized his immense significance and called experts to undertake a meticulous excavation. What emerged from the ice was a complete and remarkably well-preserved human specimen. Utsi's body, clothing, tools, and even some of his last meals were all remarkably intact, providing an unparalleled snapshot of life during the Copper Age. This level of preservation is extremely rare in archaeological contexts and has offered an invaluable opportunity for researchers to delve into the details of ancient human life. Studies of Utsi's remains have shed light on everything from his diet and living conditions to his health and physical appearance. The analysis of his teeth and bones revealed a diet heavy in wild game and grains, which provided crucial insight into the dietary habits of prehistoric humans. Number 19. 24,000-year-old organism found frozen in ice Deep in the frozen landscapes of Siberia, scientists stumbled upon a mind-boggling discovery. A microscopic multicellular creature known as a bedeloid rotifer. This organism remained frozen for an astonishing 24,000 years. Despite enduring temperatures of 14 degrees Fahrenheit, this worm-like creature endured the freezing temperatures and astonishingly retained its ability to reproduce even after millennia and icy slumber. Rotifers, resembling translucent worms, are famed for their toughness and ability to withstand extreme conditions like radiation, dehydration, low oxygen levels, and freezing cold. However, these newfound bedelloid rotifers push the boundaries of endurance to new heights. The frozen specimens were discovered 11.5 feet deep in permafrost near Siberia's Alizea River. After confirming their age using radiocarbon dating, scientists hopped on their next mission. With the aid of a suitable medium in a petri dish, scientists successfully revived these ancient creatures, witnessing them break free from their dormancy and begin to move and reproduce. This isn't the first time such feats have been witnessed, as the team had previously discovered 40,000-year-old roundworms in the same region, and they revived it as well. While researchers look to unravel the secrets of these tiny frozen organisms and their unique abilities to withstand millennia and icy slumber, the implications for cryogenics and the possibility of preserving more complex life forms. Who knows? Preserving human life in ice might not be limited to sci-fi books in the future. Number 18. Ningen In the vast icy waters of Antarctica and Southern Asia, a mysterious cryptid known as the Ningen allegedly lives. Standing at a towering height of 65 to 98 feet, this colossal creature has intrigued cryptozoologists and a lot of people on the internet. Described as a massive, blubbery whale-like being, the Ningen's smooth, pale form vaguely resembles the head, torso, and limbs of a human, hence its name, which literally means human in Japanese. However, sightings vary. Some claim it possesses a mermaid-like tail, while others insist on the presence of human-like appendages with five fingers. Its facial features, if any, are shrouded in mystery with only enormous penetrating eyes and a mouth-like slit being consistently reported. These extraordinary creatures are believed to roam the Pacific, Antarctic, and Atlantic Oceans, where they thrive in the chilling embrace of the frigid Arctic waters. Remarkably, many accounts suggest that the Ningen is primarily nocturnal. The stories of these mysterious beings first surfaced in the latter part of the 20th century, raising questions about why these colossal entities remained unnoticed by sailors who have traversed the oceans for centuries. Number 17. Wordy House 
you would think that in a place devoid of life, there be no chance of ghost stories. However, there's an intriguing story about a ghost haunting Antarctica, particularly the Wordy House. The original Wordy House, named after the esteemed polar explorer Sir James Wordy, was constructed in 1935 by Australian explorer John Rymill and his British Graham Land Expedition team. Their timber shelter withstood a harsh winter before being swept away by the relentless sea. Recently, a diving expedition near its former location unveiled the haunting ruins of this long-lost outpost. In January 1947, the Wordy House was rebuilt on the Antarctic landscape. It was used by the Falkland Islands Dependency Survey. Scientific endeavors, particularly meteorology, took center stage within its walls. Meteorological instruments were carefully housed in designated screens, recording this ever-changing condition of this desolate realm. Over the years, the hut expanded to include a generator shed, office, store, and toilet, serving as a vital hub for research. However, in May 1954, the time came to close its doors, and the operations moved to nearby Galindez Island, where they continue to this day. Since its restoration, the hut has been considered a historic site under the Antarctic Treaty System. Its kitchen, office, storage room, and bunk area are well preserved. In this place, abandoned supplies, books, typewriters, and journals are frozen in time. However, eerie legends have also surrounded this isolated dwelling, with tales of paranormal activity filling the air. Visitors have reported hearing voices, witnessing shadows, and experiencing unexplained banging and footsteps. Objects seem to move independently, and doors slam shut without a discernible cause. The chilling aura of a menacing presence has left many who venture inside feeling watched by unseen eyes. Number 16. Giant Spinning Disc in Maine Did you know that there's an ice carousel in Maine? Or should I say, there was. But this carousel probably isn't what you think it is. In the Presumpscot River in Westbrook, Maine, the freezing temperature helps the locals do some wonders. As the temperatures drop, volunteers from northern Maine icebusters gather to meticulously cut a massive circle in the thick frozen lake. With a staggering diameter of 1,776 feet and weighing an estimated 146,000 tons, this colossal ice carousel is no ordinary feat. Imagine nearly six football fields spinning in water. The ice cutters had to navigate through ice almost 30 inches thick, their efforts guided by survey crews to ensure the creation of a perfect circular wonderland. What started as a laborious yet exhilarating way to beat the winter blues has now evolved into a friendly rivalry that stretches far and wide, from Finland to Minnesota and Maine. Enthusiasts from across the globe have united under the banner of the World Ice Carousel Association, celebrating this icy phenomena that brings joy and entertainment to the frosty landscapes during the long, cold winter months. Number 15. Larsen B. The Larsen B ice shelf was once a massive expanse of ice, a frozen extension protruding from the Antarctic Peninsula. Spanning an area roughly the size of Rhode Island, it stood as an imposing and ancient structure for centuries. However, its fate was sealed as the planet's climate began to shift and the forces of nature took a relentless toll. In 2002, scientists witnessed a catastrophic event when the Larsen B ice shelf dramatically disintegrated. The disintegration occurred over a few weeks, but its repercussions will be felt for generations. Enormous chunks of ice, some as big as small countries, calved off into the ocean, a heartbreaking spectacle of the sheer power of nature and the consequences of climate change. The Larsen B ice shelf lost over 1,235 square miles of its icy surface, forever altering the landscape and accelerating the rise of sea levels. The collapse of the Larsen B ice shelf served as a wake-up call, a visual manifestation of our world's ever-changing climate. Number 14. The Ghost of Lenin Did you know that former Soviet Union leader Vladimir Lenin watches over one of the hardest-to-reach areas of Antarctica? That's because, to this day, a statue of Lenin looks over the frozen wasteland. In 1957, the Soviet Union, at the forefront of polar exploration, embarked on an ambitious mission to establish its presence on the farthest reaches of our planet. They sought to assert their scientific and territorial prowess in this frozen frontier. As part of this endeavor, a team of intrepid Soviet explorers ventured to the desolate continent and erected the statue of Vladimir Lenin at their research station. Bellingshausen, situated on King George Island near the Atlantic Peninsula. The statue of Lenin stands as a reminder of the heyday of the Soviet Union during the space race and the Cold War. Of course, 
not a lot of people appreciate this haunting statue. As the tides of history shifted, so did the presence and priorities in Antarctica. With the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, the era of the Antarctic exploration came to an end. However, the statue endured, a silent witness to the passing of time and the changing world order. Number 13. Ice 7. In the name of science, researchers spend their days watching ice freeze. That might sound boring, but it's interesting if you're a researcher studying ice VII. What exactly is it, and why are scientists so interested in it? Ice VII, also known as Ice 7, is a high-pressure form of ice that exists under extreme conditions. You see, Ice 7 is born under pressure over 300 times greater than the atmospheric pressure we experience at sea level. This means that it thrives deep within the icy abyss of our planet, tucked away in the core of colossal icebergs and frozen regions hidden from the human eye. Under such tremendous pressure, ordinary water molecules reorganize themselves into a unique crystalline structure. Now why is the discovery of Ice 7 so awe-inspiring? Well, its existence opens up new vistas of scientific knowledge, revealing the incredible complexity and diversity hidden within the humble water molecule. The presence of Ice 7 challenges our understanding of ice and expands our comprehension of the physical properties of matter under extreme conditions. This discovery holds tremendous potential for various scientific fields, including geology, astrophysics, and material sciences. As researchers delve deeper into the secrets of Ice 7, we may unravel mysteries about the core of distant planets, the vast icy moons of our solar system, and even the birth of stars. The profound implications of this discovery could pave the way for groundbreaking technological advancements and provide us with valuable insights into the history and future of our universe. Number 12. Fruitcake in Antarctica Fruitcake, anyone? I haven't met anyone who likes fruitcake, and if you know someone who claims they like it, I guarantee you there's a huge chance they're lying. Perhaps that's why this pastry is one of the foods left behind by explorers in Antarctica. In 2017, conservators from the Antarctic Heritage Trust discovered a century-old dessert in one of the oldest buildings in Antarctica. When the fruitcake was found, it was still wrapped in a tin container, and it still looked and smelled… edible. Would you dare take a bite of this century-old food? I'm not entirely fond of fruitcakes on an ordinary day. I doubt being a century older would entice me to like them anymore. Number 11. Green Icebergs for years, scientists have been perplexed by the existence of green icebergs. Recently, however, it seems we've finally identified the reason behind this strange colored ice. While most icebergs appear white or blue, green icebergs stand out for their striking emerald hue. The phenomenon is primarily caused by a unique combination of natural processes and the presence of certain minerals and organic matter within the ice. One of the main reasons behind the green coloration is the presence of algae in the ice. Another contributing factor to the green color of icebergs is the presence of iron oxide particles. As scientists continue to study these unique ice formations, they gain valuable insight into the health of our oceans. Number 10. The Ghost Ship Jenny The legend of the Ghost Ship Jenny is a haunting tale of mystery and maritime lore that has captured the imagination of sailors for generations. The story dates back to the 18th century when sailing ships plied the treacherous waters of the Atlantic Ocean, braving storms and unknown dangers. The Jenny was a majestic schooner known for its speed and beauty. Its crew was a tight-knit group of seasoned sailors led by Captain Robert Richardson. In the summer of 1750, the Jenny set sail from a port in New England, embarking on a routine voyage across the Atlantic to deliver goods to far-off lands. Little did they know that this journey would become their last. Today, Many believe this mysterious ship haunts the Atlantic Ocean, eagerly awaiting to unsettle sailors. Number 9. The Survival Story of Beck Weathers On May 10, 1996, a sudden and severe storm struck Mount Everest, catching the climbers off guard and exposing them to extreme conditions. On this fateful day, Beck Weathers and his team faced plummeting temperatures, blinding snow and strong winds, rendering their survival uncertain. Battling frostbite and exhaustion, they fought to descend the treacherous slopes and reach safety. In a tragic turn of events, Weathers became separated from his team and found himself stranded on the mountain, unable to move due to his severe frostbite. His condition was so dire that his fellow climbers presumed him dead, and he was left behind. However, despite all the odds, 
Weathers clung to life. However, miraculously, he was discovered by another climbing party. Despite facing his near-death experience and losing parts of his hands and nose to frostbite, Beck Weathers managed to descend the mountain, his feet feeling delicate and numb. Upon reaching a camp at a lower level, fellow climbers were astonished by his presence. Despite his blackened face and the irreversible damage to his limbs, Weathers was able to walk and communicate. As word of his astonishing survival spread to the base camp, it caused even more disbelief and astonishment. Perhaps it wasn't really his time to die yet. Number 8. Tunic of Lenbreen In 2011, archaeologists embarked on an expedition to explore the Lenbreen Ice Patch, nestled in the Utenheimen mountain range. This ice patch acted as a natural preservation chamber, safeguarding remnants of the past for centuries. As the team began their excavation, they stumbled upon a well-preserved tunic that had been hidden within the ice for over a millennium. The tunic, made from woven wool and trimmed with reindeer fur, dates back to the Viking Age, making it a stunning find of immense significance. Remarkably, the icy conditions had protected the fabric, allowing it to retain its original colors and textures. The tunic of Lenbreen provides valuable insights into the clothing and daily life of the Vikings, offering a tangible connection to the past. It also highlights the challenges and resilience of our ancestors, who navigated the unforgiving terrain and extreme weather conditions of the mountainous regions. Number 7. Erika Nordby The story of Erika Nordby is one of the most incredible incidents that happened in real life. In the winter of 2017, when Erika was just 10 years old, tragedy struck her family. While on a fishing trip with her father and older brother, their boat encountered a violent storm that capsized the vessel throwing them into the icy waters of the North Sea. The freezing temperatures and treacherous conditions seemed to spell certain doom for the family. However, in a stroke of luck, Erica managed to cling to a piece of debris from the boat and remained afloat amidst the churning waves. As the storm raged on, hope began to dwindle, and the chances of survival appeared slim. But perhaps it wasn't her time yet. Miraculously, after a grueling 12-hour struggle against the elements, Rescue teams discovered Erica adrift in the vast sea. Seeing the brave young girl clinging to life amidst the frigid waters was nothing short of extraordinary. Against all odds, she had managed to survive the ordeal. Number 6. Fukushima's Ice Wall Have you heard about Fukushima's Ice Wall? This barrier made of ice is a significant engineering project implemented at the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Plant in Japan after the devastating nuclear accident that occurred in March 2011. Following the earthquake and tsunami that struck the Fukushima plant, several of the reactors experienced meltdowns, leading to the release of radioactive materials in the environment. One of the challenges that arose from this disaster was the ongoing flow of groundwater that was being contaminated as it passed through the reactor buildings and the surrounding soil. To tackle this issue, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, which operates the Fukushima Daiichi plant, devised a plan to construct a subterranean ice wall to block the flow of groundwater and prevent it from becoming contaminated. The concept involved freezing the soil around the reactor buildings, creating a barrier that would act as a physical barrier to stop the water from seeping into the site and carrying radioactive contaminants out. The construction of the ice wall began in 2014. It involved drilling a series of vertical holes and pipes into the ground and then circulating a refrigerant through the pipes to freeze the surrounding soil, creating a frozen wall around the reactors. It was completed in 2016 and has since been operational, significantly reducing the influx of contaminated groundwater into the plant. The project, however, has been met with some skepticism and criticism regarding its effectiveness and long-term sustainability. Despite the ice wall's implementation, the cleanup and decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant remain ongoing and highly complex tasks. The site continues to be closely monitored, and efforts to mitigate the environmental impacts of the nuclear accident persist. Number 5. Rhone Glacier's Blankets If you think you're the only one who needs blankets, then you might be surprised to know that even ice sheets need blankets too. In 2022, a group of people helped support a unique endeavor to protect the majestic Rhone Glacier from the relentless onslaught of global warming. With soaring temperatures engulfing Europe during an extreme heat wave, locals near the 12,000-foot-high glacier have taken matters into their own hands. They needed to preserve the ice and prevent it from melting further. Since 2009, they've donned their glacier-saving gear and embarked on an annual pilgrimage to dress up the Rhone Glacier in protective white blankets. 
shielding it from the scorching summer heat. These special UV-resistant blankets, lovingly placed over the glacier's vulnerable parts, are effective protectors, reducing melting by a staggering 50 to 70 percent. Beyond just a response to the current heat wave, this heartwarming initiative is a powerful statement against the ever-looming threat of climate change. The surrounding villages, deeply intertwined with the glacier's existence, rely on its snowy cover, scenic trails, and breathtaking ice caves to bolster the region's economy. It's a symbiotic relationship that compelled the caring residents to act, preserving the glacier's pristine beauty and vital water resources. As the summer sun relentlessly wreaks havoc on the Rhone and its fellow glaciers, the consequences become apparent in the form of a growing lake fed by melting water. Yet, these blankets of hope bring a ray of optimism, a symbol of human ingenuity and determination in the face of environmental challenges. Join us on this journey as we witness how a simple act of kindness and the collective efforts of a community can stand strong against the forces of climate change, protecting a timeless marvel of nature for generations to come. Number 4. Ancient Lunchbox More than 3,500 years ago, a traveler in the Swiss Alps lost their lunchbox, and this loss led to researchers discovering more about how people lived thousands of years ago. This seemingly ordinary incident unveiled a fascinating glimpse into ancient human life. As the ice near the mountain's summit began to melt, an extraordinary discovery was made by archaeologists. A wooden vessel that once held someone's lunch this lunchbox showed us the diet and lifestyle of our ancient ancestors. The researchers were astounded when chemical analysis of the container revealed faint traces of cereals like wheat and rye, hinting at the possibility that this box once contained a hearty whole grain porridge. Baskets, barrels, and boxes made from organic materials were rarely preserved throughout history. But the Alps have proven to be a treasure trove, preserving some of the remarkable relics. And now, thanks to cutting-edge chemical techniques, Archaeologists have the ability to analyze the residues of food and drink left on ancient pots. Wheat, barley, and rye played a significant role in the lives of our farming ancestors. And this newfound lunchbox offers an enticing glimpse into the culinary choices that sustain these ancient communities. Number 3. Giant Cubes in the Southern Antarctic Peninsula In 1995, a captivating image known as Icy Sugar Cubes emerged leaving scientists and enthusiasts puzzled and intrigued. This extraordinary photograph was captured by Peter Convey, a terrestrial ecologist with the British Antarctic Survey, during an aerial expedition over the English coast of the southern Antarctic Peninsula. The frozen landscape appears as though giant ice cubes have been meticulously arranged in a colossal freezer. However, there's more to this icy illusion than meets the eye. The truth lies in the movement of the ice and snow itself. The formations are born from the stretching and shifting of the ice sheet in two directions, creating a mesmerizing interplay of shapes and patterns. As the ice glides along the paths of shallower slices, the deeper and sharper cuts seemingly emerge more recently, presenting this enigmatic optical illusion. Number 2. Greenland's Lake Swallowing Ice In 2006, a remarkable sight unfolded before the eyes of astonished scientists. An entire lake holding a staggering 45 billion liters of water, disappeared into the Earth in just two hours. But this wasn't a random phenomenon. It was an annual event occurring in Greenland during the summer months. As melting snow gives birth to thousands of transient lakes, they teeter on the surface for only a few weeks before vanishing without a trace. The hidden culprit behind this vanishing act lies beneath the ice, a vast sheet of ice that thirstily swallows up these lakes when temperatures rise. In 2018, researchers sounded the alarm as this peculiar phenomenon took a troubling turn. The subterranean network of cracks was now devouring inland lakes, even those assumed to be out of its reach. The culprit behind this unsettling change was, once again, rising temperatures. As summers grow hotter, the cracks expand, triggering a domino effect. The water from one lake drains rapidly, weakening the nearby lake beds leading to the formation of new cracks and the destabilization of more lakes. In one astonishing chain reaction, 124 lakes disappeared over the course of five days. Most of the water eventually finds its way to the ocean, collectively raising global sea levels by one millimeter each passing year. The phenomena of disappearing lakes in Greenland serves as a stark reminder of the profound impact of climate change on our planet's delicate ecosystems. As temperatures continue to rise, these transient lakes, 
once a temporary spectacle, now reflect a poignant tale of the interconnectedness of our environment and the urgent need to address the challenges posed by global warming. And now it's time for today's topic. Researchers in Antarctica have been trying to discover everything there is on the icy landscape of the continent. And now what they discovered frozen in ice shocked the whole world. The belief in the existence of the Yeti is deeply rooted in the folklore and cultural traditions of the Himalayan regions, where local inhabitants have passed down tales of this cryptid for generations. One of the most striking aspects of the Yeti legend is the division among believers regarding its true habitat. Many firmly assert that the Yeti roams the icy expanse of Antarctica, while others are convinced it lurks within the remote snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas. Just look at this photo that has been fueling rumors and speculations about the existence of the elusive Yeti. Given the multitude of unknowns regarding Antarctica, it wouldn't be astonishing if several cryptids were revealed to be genuine. Number 1. Tons of Toxic Mercury In the depths of the Arctic's icy expanse, an alarming discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Deep within the melting permafrost, hidden for millennia, lay an unsuspected menace, mercury. This poisonous heavy metal, once frozen safely away, now threatens to be unleashed into the delicate balance of the Arctic ecosystem, posing dire consequences for the entire food chain. Prior to this revelation, scientists believed that permafrost held minimal traces of mercury. However, calculations now point to an astonishing 56 million liters, that's 15 million gallons of the toxic metal, making it the largest mercury stockpile on Earth. Over thousands of years, currents and winds have deposited this deadly substance, now poised to seep into the ground, getting absorbed by plants and bacteria, and eventually finding its way into the water and atmosphere. The implications of this discovery are profound and far-reaching. Mercury's propensity to accumulate in fish and animals means it could directly threaten human health if consumed through contaminated food sources. As scientists grapple with the uncertainty of when and how much mercury might be released into the food cycle, one thing remains clear, this environmental disaster will have global repercussions. It's astounding to think just how much is hidden, locked away in their icy graveyards. What else do you think is hidden out there? If you know about any other interesting discoveries, leave them in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.